right, guys. Finally, Marcelo here. Great to have you guys back. Let's go. This is what we are going to talk about. American pronunciation, guys. Stick with me because today I'm pretty sure you guys are going to learn something really nice and also something new. Today, I'm going to start <laughs> with the topic of the day, okay? Today, we are going to talk about homophones. Now, homophones are words in English that they have the same phonemes, meaning they have the same sounds. So sometimes these words are not written the same, right? They are written differently. However, when you pronounce these words, when you pronounce the words, you have the same exact sound. Hello guys, I see more people coming. This is awesome. So again, just to summarize, homophones are words that you may write them differently but they have the same exact sounds, okay? For example, these two words here. Look at this, look at this. These two words, guys, I'm gonna type them here for you, look. These two words, they are written differently, right? They are spelled differently, but the sound is the exact same sound. You are going to pronounce these words, bear and bear, that's it but they mean different things, right? Uh, bear with the first bear there is the animal. You know, the poo bear Rawr. in New Hampshire. <laughs> you, have, you have a lot of bears in New Hampshire, guys. You gotta be careful. And the other bear is something that is uncovered, right? Uh, bear hands, look, I have no gloves here. Bear hands, barefoot. I have no shoes, no flip-flops on my uh, feet. So, you know, bare feet. So they are two different words with the same exact pronunciation. And that's crazy. I am going to bring you guys over because I'm going to use my paper here, as we always do, right? Every class we use this little tablet where I can show you guys in a better way how, you know, what I am talking about. And I really like this. Okay, let's do this one here. And for that, you know what I have to do, right? I have to really put this close to me, which is terrible for you. I know. I know it's hard to see my face that close. My goodness. I wouldn't want to see that, you know? I'm just... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyways. Okay. So there we go. There we go. Now I'm going to move my move my camera. Homophones, let's go. Homophones are words, as I told you, okay? They are words that they have the uh, exact same sound, although they are spelled differently, okay? For example, here, these two words, they are spelled differently. Look, B-E-A-R, B-A-R-E, but the pronunciation is the same, guys. This word here, these words actually, I'm going to pronounce them with the same sound, okay? Which is bear. So this is bear, this is bear. Both of them have the exact same sound. Another homophone that I can think of right now is the homophone, this one, look at this. This and this. The pronunciation of both of these words is not. So I have not here, not, okay? Not, not. The same pronunciation, different spelling, guys. Another one, for example, is this one, very common. Look, look. These two words. Spelled differently. Look, different spelling. But the pronunciation is the same. There, there. That's it. There, there. 
Homophones, guys, as I told you before, are words that are different, spelled differently, but they have the, the exact same sound. Now, I would like you guys to participate, okay? Look, this is me asking you guys, please participate, participate. Tell me words that are spelled differently, but they have the same sound. Look, this is bear, bear, not, not, there, there. Now, give me one word that you know, you know, that have different spellings, but the exact same sound. Let me know, guys. What do you think? Can you give me an example? Do you think you can give me an example? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your example. Okay, okay, so uh, Machu Major told me this one. F that was foot and food, okay? Now, my friend, um, these are not the same, uh, they don't have the same pronunciation, okay? Mostly because of the consonant sound here. This is a T, a foot. Look at this, foot. And the vowel sound is different too, foot. And here I have food. You see the difference? Foot, food. So yeah, they are very different, okay? Now, they have similar spelling, but the pronunciation is different. Okay, Rodrigo, that's it, man. There you go. So Rodrigo, he gave us this example here. The word, the verb wear, right? I'm wearing. Um, how do you call this? A red um, hoodie. This is not actually red, but anyways. <laughs> and this one right here, the WH question that everybody knows. So these words, guys, this is a perfect example of homophones. Why? Because they have different spellings and they are pronounced the same. Where? Where? Where were you last night? I couldn't see you. What do you mean? I was wearing, the same pronunciation, okay, my um, red hoodie. I always wear my red hoodie. Okay, Lima LC, perfect, perfect example. Very, very important, this one. Guys, these words, they are pronounced the same. They have the same pronunciation, okay, two and two, the same pronunciation. And then sometimes maybe, you know, students, they like to ask, but teacher, how am I going to differentiate in a conversation? Imagine we're having a conversation here. This is you. This is me, okay? We're having a conversation. And then you tell me, um, you know, I have, two, I have two dogs. And then students think, how can I differentiate? How would I know that the person is saying the number two and not two as in T-O-O, as in very, as in intensity? Guys... The context, all right? So the context of the conversation is going to dictate which of these two words are being used. That's crazy, right? So you have, it's really important to pay attention to the context of the conversation, okay? So let's review here. Bear, bear, not, not, there, there, where, where, two, two. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Um, examples. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at more. More examples. Let's see. That was Lima LC. Thank you so much. Rodrigo also helped us. Um, yes, I can try Fati. I'm going to try to uh, make some examples up, okay? Don't worry. Uh, let me say hi to all the people that are here. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Um, no, patience and passion, they, they have different sounds, Fati. Look, patience... Passion, patience, passion. Look, pay, pa. So they are very different, okay? Good try, good try. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Give me more. Bye-bye, excellent, Patricia. That's an excellent one, guys. Look at this. Pronounced the same. Bye, bye. However, they are spelled differently they're homophones guys awesome excellent patricia thank you so much 
Um, I'm going to call you by 6 p.m. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be at Best Buy. <laughs> All right, guys. My examples are the worst. Okay. I'm going to call you by 6 p.m. going to call you by 6 p.m. Okay, awesome. I'll be at Best Buy. Do you know Best Buy, guys? Best Buy is a store where you can buy the best. <laughs> you can buy the best electronics. Peace and peace. Awesome. Excellent example. Look at this. Patricia is on fire. Peace and peace. They are spelled differently, guys, but they have the same pronunciation. Peace and love. Give me a piece of that pizza. A piece of the pizza. Okay, a slice of the pizza, right? I can say pizza of the pizza as well. Peace and peace. Patricia, thank you so much. Excellent. Peace, right, guys? Peace and love. Peace and love. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Peace, okay? And then peace would be a piece. A piece of advice. A piece of um, information. <laughs> 88 <laughs> Bishra excellent my student of course now look at this 88 same pronunciation guys the number 8 and the verb to eat in the past the same pronunciation i ate 8 slices of pizza last night look <laughs> i can write that i ate um 8 slices of pizza last night look at this perfect example i ate eight slices of pizza teacher how would i know that the person is saying eight here not eight? guys the context the context will help you look if i tell you if i told you guys i ate eight slices of pizza of course that the first one is a verb, because I can't use the subject and then the number. <laughs> I ate, I two, I three. No, it doesn't work like that. You're not a robot. If you have a, ro if you are a robot, then maybe you can, you you're, you're called this, right? This is your name, I three. Uh, you're a, an iPhone or something. But you know what I'm saying. And also because I used slices here, plural form, so you know that what came before was probably. A number, right? And a plural one. Awesome. Good stuff. Let me see more examples, guys. I want to see more examples of uh, this situation here, which is the... Oh, okay. Okay, 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 Patricia. Hold and hold. The same. <laughs> They're homophones. Look at this. A hole. Which is, for example, if you are walking down the street and there's a hole, right? There's a hole here. Be careful not to fall. Look, you have to jump. Like Neo. Neo from the Matrix. I know Kung Fu. And hole means complete, right? Complete, entire. I was... Look at this example. Look at the example I'm going to give you. I was fixing the hole no i was fixing the hole <laughs> even even i got confused i was fixing the hole with h <laughs> on the wall the whole day you see here so i'm using the same pronunciation but different words okay whole whole good stuff patricia thank you so much very nice. Those, those, Rodrigo. There you go. Excellent. Those, though. Those. 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 Those, those. Do they have the same... You know what I'm saying? Um, the thing is, my friend Rodrigo, let me try to help you here, buddy. Okay, so this is the... The words that you gave me, right? Those and those. Okay. Now, do they have the same sound? Y yes and no. Because the vowel sound is the same, okay? O, O, good stuff. 
Uh, the last consonant sound is the same. It's a little Z sound, right? Z, O's. Então, both of those words, <laughs> uh, then, so, bo <laughs> both of those words, guys, they have the same vowel sound here, right? And the same consonant sound in the end. Okay, O's, 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 awesome. However, the first sound here, Rodrigo, here I have the voiced uh, TH sound man, which is this one right here. This is uh, the, you will do this. Look, let me show you, Rodrigo. Um, so the first sound of this word here with the TH, then you have to do this, right? Put your tongue in the middle of your teeth and then the, 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 that's the sound. Those, those. Now the second one is just a D sound. Those, those. So, do they have the same sound? Yes or no? <laughs> okay. Yes or no, buddy. All right, guys. Let me go back. Gotta catch up with you. Yeah, I need some catch up here. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Good stuff, Fatia. Weak, weak. Yes. Let's 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 go for the simple ones. <laughs> weak and weak. These these have the same sounds, guys. Can you believe that? The same phonemes. That's why they're called homophones, because they are the same, spelled differently. However, the sound is the same. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. Eat it. Mm, I don't think they have the same sound, uh, Bishra. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Hello, guys. You guys are amazing. Only great people in here. Vanessa, Daniel, Elisa, Muradov, Grazi. Grazi. So many people. Look, Abdullah, Ikan. My gosh, guys. Diana. Only amazing people right here. Excellent, guys. Any other, any other um, examples for our dear homophones? I have more. I have more examples here for you that you will probably be happy to see. Probably. I didn't say that you would. I said probably. Bite, bite. Yes, Machu Major. Perfect. Good stuff. Sell, sell. Exactly. Break, break. Steven! My goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see Steven here. Excellent. I'm going to use Steven example. Steven's example, guys. Look at this. Break, break. They have the same exact sound. The same sound. However, they're spelled differently. That's crazy. And they mean different things. But the sound is the same. Right? I need a break. I need a, do I need a break? I don't need a break. Okay. I, I normally take a break uh, from teaching English at 2 p.m. The brake of my car is not working properly. <laughs> That's bad. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that. Thanks, Steven. You're the man. I love Steven. He's a nice guy. Our, our. Excellent. Our, our. Good stuff. Some people would say to Patricia that this one here and also this one are homophones in conversation, right? I, when you say our, normally, when, when our is used in conversation, people normally pronounce it as our, right? Our, like the verb to be. Our friend is a nice guy. Our teacher is awesome. However, this pronunciation here, um, can I say it's the correct pronunciation? I don't think so, but yes, you can pronounce it as our as well, just like in the hour. What time is it? Oh, it's two hours and three minutes. <laughs> meet, meet, Patricia. Thank you so much. Patricia has so many examples. I'm so happy. One more hero. Meat and also meat. This is what you eat. Probably. Probably. If you don't, please don't, don't be mad. You, you probably eat this. Meat, okay? Um, and meat is the verb, right? I need to meet a friend um, tonight. <laughs> new and new. Yes. Exactly, Fatia. New and new. 
I thought that I knew the new subject at U universe. Okay, awesome. Perfect example. Fatih wrote a perfect example there, guys. I thought, I thought I knew. I thought I knew. I'm sorry. I thought I knew. I thought I knew the new. <laughs> Look at this. I thought I knew the new, the new what? The new subject, Fatih. And you didn't. What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? You thought you knew, but you didn't. <laughs> I thought I knew the new subject, but I did not. That sucks. That sucks, right, Fatih? My goodness. Guys, that was the class today. We saw, we talked about homophones. Words that have different spelling. Look at this. But they have the same sound. Let's pronounce all of them again. I say, and then you repeat where you are, wherever you are. Okay, let's go. Bear, bear. Good job, guys. Not, not. Excellent. There, there. Good stuff. Where, where. Two, two. Like my friend DB. <laughs> um, well, it's here. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Peace, peace. Good. Repeat, guys. Eight, eight. Um, what else? Whole, whole. Good stuff. Good stuff. What else do we have here? Weak, weak. Um, what else? Break, break. Hour, hour. R, R. Meet, meet. Excellent, guys. Good stuff. Let me go back here. What's up? Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, I hope you liked it. Because, you know, pronunciation is something really important. It's important. You need to know how to pronounce the words correctly, okay? I'm not talking about accent. Everybody has their specific accent. Accent is who you are. Can't change that. Um, however, you can learn how to pronounce the words correctly, okay? <laughs> There is a big difference between pronouncing the words correctly, which is something you must do, than having uh, an accent, okay? So today we talked about pronunciation. Last week we talked about, do you remember? Grammar. Yeah, was it? Was it grammar? I think so. So last week we talked about grammar. This week, pronunciation. Next week, we're going to talk about writing, how to improve our writing. And probably, oh, we talked about capital letters, punctuation, and now I think we are going to start writing sentences, okay? So <laughs> I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to teach you how to properly write a simple sentence. That's what I'm going to do with you, okay? Guys, so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day, a great night, whatever you are, okay?